I was aware that you couldn't hear me. <laughs> I couldn't even hear myself. All right. right. A woman went to the local drugstore where she walked into the farm, walked up to the pharmacist and placed a rather odd order. I would like one gallon of cyanide, she said. Perplexed at the woman's strange request, the pharmacist inquired, Ma'am, may I ask you for what purpose you need a gallon of cyanide? Yes, she responded. I want to poison my husband. Alarmed, the pharmacist declared, Ma'am, I cannot give you what you are asking for. Murder is against the law, and you could go to jail. Plus, it is simply unethical for me to give you such a thing. I could lose my license. Not deterred at all by his words, the woman calmly reached inside her purse and pulled out a picture of her husband with the pharmacist's wife and showed it to him. The pharmacist looked at the picture for a few moments, looked back at the woman and said, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you had a prescription. <laughs> All right. Uh, today, following coffee, the tech support committee has their meeting this morning. Um, Today we have uh, Bingo here, and be, be here ready to play by 6.15. Um, Going to skip to Thursday, which is the ladies' luncheon at the Caddy Shack. Arrive at 11 and eat 11.30. Order off the menu and pay there. Uh, Friday, I will also be out of the office, but Jan will be here to assist you on Friday with anything that you may need. Just a reminder, on Saturday... They are teaching the new game, 2500, at 630 in the community room. Um, a reminder for next Monday that the Tanglewood veterans have their Memorial Day service at the flagpole in front of the clubhouse at 8 o'clock. And uh, Tammy had already mentioned, but our offices are closed on Monday for the Memorial Day holiday. Um, Weight Watchers. If you are interested in going to the Weight Watchers meetings here at Tanglewood, they need seven more people to pay before they can uh, come back. So they've got eight people that have already signed up for another 12 weeks, but they have to have seven more or else the classes will be canceled. And what that means is that you have to have you have to pay with cash or with a check in uh, the amount of $156 for, um, for, it's for 12 weeks. Now, they can split the 156 up into three different payments, and they can do it for three months. But if you are interested in signing up for Weight Watchers, um, I need for you to come and see me with your check so that they can continue here. If not, they were, they're going to be uh, suspending the service here for a while until we have enough people back here interested in the park that are going to be attending. Um, there is not going to be potluck in the months of June and July. And let me see if I have anything else here. I think that is all that I have for this week. So I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful week. Good Thank morning. Thank you so very much. Okay, I have a short video that I'd like for the guys to go ahead and start. I'm going to talk to you about CPR. <laughs> Now it's your turn to practice. First, get into position. Place the heel of one hand on the center of the chest. Put the heel of your other hand on top of the first. Follow along with the drum beat. Let's begin. Push straight down, hard. Push down at least.
Why don't you run it back to the beginning, and I'll talk, and then we'll do it at the end. Okay, that's what you'd be doing. Um, we're offering a free hands-only CPR and AED training. Uh, Tanglewood Community Church Health Ministry is going to put this on. It's going to be the first week in June, which is National CPR Week, uh, the 1st through the 7th. We're going to put the classes on the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th, which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I have sign-up sheets in the back by the credenza. The time is going to be from 1.30 to 3. It's not going to take that long, probably 40 minutes totally, but getting everybody in, signed in, uh, getting you acclimated with the mannequins. We're going to have some mannequins in there. You're going to actually do the stuff. Okay, we're going to watch this. There are moments in life we wish we could freeze in time. We live them. We live for them. They are intimately personal. They are gladly shared. What is life if we cannot experience these moments of joy, wonder, and happiness? We want people to experience more of life's precious moments. To do that, we must be healthy in heart and mind. For the heart is where life's moments are felt most. And the mind is where these moments become memories and are relived again and again. It's why we've made better heart and brain health our mission. And together, we've made an extraordinary impact. Healthier adults, more active children, stronger survivors but we are just beginning until there's a world free of heart disease and stroke we'll be there making a healthier longer life possible for everyone you may ask why do we do what we do the answer is simple because we are the american heart association and the american stroke association and life Life is why. Okay. Um, we are going to have that, and it's going to be on June 5th, 6th, and 7th. You're going to learn hands-only CPR. No breathing. You don't have to kiss any mannequins or anything like that. Uh, just hands-only. That's the most important part of CPR you're uh, causing the blood to go ahead and continue to flowing to flow to get the oxygen back up to the brain. When a person first goes into cardiac arrest, uh, they still have oxygen in their blood. And we want to get that going back to the brain so you don't so you're not a vegetable and you're not brain dead. Uh, so as quickly as we can do that is the most important thing. Also, we want you to learn not to be afraid of what's in that glass case, the AED. I have an AED trainer that looks exactly like that one. But it will not shock anybody. It does make a funny sound, and I usually put it on Steve and make him demonstrate. Um, but you're going to learn how to use that. You're going to get up there, and we're going to get that one out and look at it so you're not afraid of it or not afraid to, to open it up. It's for everybody. Um, a lot of people I've heard talk and say, ooh, I don't, I don't mess with that. That's for trained people. We're going to train you all how to do it because you never know what can happen to any of us at any point in time, and we want you all to be prepared for that. So. Sign up for the class uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday in June. If you have any other questions, then you can give me a call. Thanks. She said it's going to be in the community room, which is good because on June 7th, we're going to be having the 7th uh, afternoon in here. And I'm just here to tell you that the sign-up sheet has been put out. The 7th party will run from 1 until about 3.30. If you need a refresher on how to play or if you've not learned how to play, Come at 12.30, and you can learn it really quickly. 
there is no charge to play, but you do have to buy poker chips because at the end of the day, you cash in your chips and go home with money in your pocket. It's, um, it's really a simple game, but please do sign up so we know how many to prepare for. This is being run by the Diversions Committee. And if you have not been living in a cave for the last month to hear us say we're going to be doing two one-act plays at the end of June, and you've been thinking about it and thinking about it, and then you say, ah, heck, it's too late by now. It isn't really. We can always use a couple of more bodies. We could use some non-speaking people who just come, around, come out and look annoyed at having to wait. Or we can give you a part that has a few lines. It's very simple. You don't have to memorize anything. Come see me after coffee if you need any more information. Good morning. But Arnie Nichols thank you. for the blood drive. Uh, chairman of the Blood Drive. On uh, June 7th, from 9 to 3, the Blood Mobile will be here to take your blood. And we're looking for some new people that have just moved in that would be interested in giving blood. If you do, come and see me after coffee and see this white book that it says Blood Drive. That'll be up there on the condensa to sign your name in. And we'd be interested in seeing everybody come out to give blood. We need blood now that everybody's gone. Um, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Uh, so we appreciate that if you want to give blood on June 7th at from Morning. 9 to 3. Sue Carpenter with Trips and Thank Travel. You. I want to give you a list again of the trips that we're doing, and we're hoping everybody will sign up. We've got some that are very inexpensive, and we've got some that need a few op that have a few openings. Um, one is the Key West trip. We have two openings for that. And October the 28th is the Mount Dora Craft Festival. It's $25. That's a good trip. Um, the Myrtle Beach trip, there are 11 openings as of, right, as of May the 22nd. December the 6th is the Mystery Dinner Train trip. It's $115, but it's well worth it. December 13th is the Orlando Christmas and Ikea shopping trip, and it's only $25. And we're going to a mall that has 230 stores in it, so there's something for everybody. Uh, 2018, January the 27th, there's a 10-day Panama Canal trip. March the 8th is the St. John River Dinner Cruise. March the 16th is the Winter Park Festival, and that's only $32. That's a good trip. April the 15th is the 7-day Oasis of the Seas Cruise. And in September is the Ireland trip. I am to announce that the it is posted that they will have a meeting Wednesday, and that is going to be postponed for right now. Uh, Luann will get a hold of all those people on the list by email, probably. Then, um, in 2019, uh, January the 26th, there's a seven-day Symphony of the Seas cruise, and we'd like to see everybody come and go with us. We, we enjoy being Good with morning. our Tanglewood friends. Jan Carbaugh yeah. with Monday Morning Coffee. And as Billy mentioned, we will have coffee next Monday. We have a speaker that will be coming in. Um, we will not put the coffee or donuts out until after the flag ceremony is over. We would like you to all join the veterans at the flagpole in front of the clubhouse down here at the main entrance and enjoy the ceremony. It's really quite moving, and um, we have decided that we're not going to have the coffee and donuts out so that everybody can come and enjoy that with us. Um, I, I do order extra donuts, so if you have company or friends that are here, there will be plenty for everyone. Thank you. Okay, I know I talk a lot about uh, traditions here in Tanglewood, but uh, <clears throat> next Monday is one of the best, and that's when the veterans uh, put on the program, the ceremony down at the flagpole, and those of you who have been here before know what an impressive site it is and how meaningful it is to all of us who have uh, gotten the benefit of the service that was provided by the people before us. Also, uh, Tangle, uh, excuse me, Hometown America has arranged for a special speaker that day. Uh, he'll be speaking to us for about 15 minutes or so, uh, as it would be for a, <coughs> excuse me, it would be for a sponsor. And uh, it's a person by the name of Mac Payne, and he speaks primarily about veterans uh, of the Vietnam War. <clears throat> and I'm sure that it's going to be a great presentation, and I encourage you to make a special effort, not only go down to the flagpole, but also to uh, be here for his presentation. 
This uh, Thursday coming, you saw uh, Tammy with her red nose. Uh, this coming Thursday is Red Nose Day, and it's primarily sponsored by Walgreens. I'm sure if you've gone into Walgreens, they've asked you if you'd like to buy uh, a, a nose for a dollar. But all that money goes to children's poverty issues, and uh, a great, great cause and a great project that's put on by Walgreens and uh, associated people. Thursday evening, there's going to be a special on TV uh, about raising money for that particular purpose. You might want to watch that. Uh, so I encourage you, if you go through to Walgreens, pick them up. They're only a dollar, kind of fun to wear from time to time. And um, as you saw, Tammy had hers on earlier. And um, it's important to, that we support uh, programs like this. Okay, uh, we continue to sell tickets for uh, special events programs for next year. Uh, also, remember, you can nominate people for the Wall of Fame. And also, we're looking for people for the 50th wedding anniversary situation that we have in February. And we're looking for people who had their 50th wedding anniversary between March 1st of this year and the 28th of February next year. So contact myself or Billy, and we'll begin doing those interviews in the fall. Okay, this day in history, okay? 1761 was the first life insurance policy that was ever issued. It was issued in Philadelphia. And in 1849, this is kind of interesting, Abe Lincoln got a patent. And Abe Lincoln got a patent for a floating dry dock. Uh, I had no idea about that or where that came from. In 1906, the Wright brothers were awarded their patent for a flying machine. And in 1967, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood first appeared on PBS. Those of you in the Pittsburgh area know he was there first, but PBS picked him up in 1967. And in 1992, Johnny Carson said goodbye to everybody on The Tonight Show. Born this day, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in 1859. In 1907, Sir Lawrence Olivier. And in 1940, the newsman Bernard Shaw. This month, this month is Borderline Personality Disorder Month. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. It's Healthy Vision Month. It's Military Appreciation Month. And of course, that's very appropriate for our program for next week. And it's National Physical Fitness and Sports Month. This week is National New Friends and Old Friends Month. So see, I keep telling you every week, make a new friend. This is officially the week. Healthy and Safe Swimming Week. National Backyard Games Week and National Safe Boating Week. Today is Canadian Immigrants Day. I don't know what that means. It's Victoria Day, it's Accountants Day, and it's World Goth Day, G-O-T-H. You know the people that go around with the dark eyes and the long hair and the weird costumes? They actually have a website. Let's go over to the welcome table. And our welcome table is represented today by Mary Lee Cipriano. Mary Lee. Hi. I am wearing this nose because Tom said I had to, not because of the jello shot party yesterday, <clears throat> although some think so. But I'd like to welcome a new couple that's with us, and they'll be here with us year-round, and it's exciting to have another family join us. So I'd like them to stand and introduce themselves. Hello, everybody. My name is Kathy Smith, and this is my husband, Jim. Friends call him Smitty. We just purchased a home on Tanglewood Circle, and Jim retired May 10th, and we left on May 11th. We're from Rochester, New York, and we're glad to be here with everybody. And I'll let Jim. Hello, my name's Jim Smith. I uh, used to work for Johnson & Johnson Clinical Diagnostics up in Rochester, New York. They make uh, slides for the blood analyzers. Was there for 30 years and uh, finally decided it was time to get out. So we uh, took a little trip around Florida, probably about 800 miles the beginning of May, and uh, decided to settle here in Sebring. So we went back home and uh, I retired. We packed up our belongings and here we are. <clears throat> We've met a lot of nice people here. Everybody seems very nice and uh, we, feel, we feel very welcome. So thank you. Thank you. And of course, all of us welcome you, and we'll all stop over and see you. Where you live here in the park? Yeah. 
They live on the circle. Oh, on the and circle, okay. I'm sure you'll all be able to find it. Tom. Coffee will be ready about nine. And uh, you'll have to bring your own donut, though. Tom? Yes. Um, Jen asked me to remind everyone the flagpole ceremony next Monday will be at 8 a.m. at the flagpole. Yes, okay. at the flagpole at 8 a.m., right. Okay, that's, uh, again, a great tradition, and we'll look for all of you down there. Uh, well, that's about it. It was short today. Uh, plan to take part in the activities. Bingo's coming down to a quick halt, so if you want to make your fortune, make sure you get there before it closes. Uh, make a new friend, and oh, by the way, wave to your neighbor. I'm up to 65% this week. Uh, I actually had a day when everybody I waved to waved back, and that's great. So make it an effort. Uh, anybody else do a survey this week? Oh, come on. Help me out here. Okay, so wave to your neighbor. See if they wave back. Make a little note about it, and have a great week.